Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a requested video. In my last video I wanted, I asked you guys if you wanted to see how I make my wigs and how I install my closure on my wigs and how I do my elastic gun method and all that. So uh, a few of you were actually interested so that's what I decided to do today. Um, so I'm going to show you how I install this hair. This is the Bella Virgin hair and I'm not, this is not a review of the hair. I am just um, showing you guys how I installed it. There will be a full review of the hair in probably my next video or so. Um, yeah, so this is just going to show you how I installed the hair and all that and how I put in my closure. So I have in a 22 inch, a 20 inch, an 18, a 16 and a 16 inch closure. So yeah, if you're interested to see how I install this hair or how I made this wig, then definitely keep on watching. Also. Also. Okay, so here are the things you're going to need. You're going to need a spandex cap. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. You're also going to need a foam head, just something to put your spandex cap on to sew. Some elastic band, you can get this at your local craft stores, some sewing stuff. <laughs> uh, bobby pins to hold the hair in place. And of course, you will need some scissors. And last but not least, you're definitely gonna need some hair. So my cap didn't fit my head too well, so I had to cut it off a little bit and then resize it for my head shape. Okay, you're gonna need some bobby pins because you're gonna want to secure your closure on your wig cap while you sew it. But you, first, you need to make sure you know where you want your closure to be. I didn't really care. I just wanted it somewhere in the middle because it's a lace closure and I have a lot of party room. So once you figure out where you want your closure to be, you're just gonna go ahead and secure it with some bobby pins so you can sew it. As you can see here, I've pinned it all around so my closure will stay still while I sew it on. As you notice, I don't sew it on on the mannequin head. I like to sew it on like freehand like this. And you want to make sure you sew the sides first and then sew the back. And do not sew the front of the closure. Just the sides, the back, and then that's it. As you can see, I'm done sewing my closure all around the sides and the back, but I did not sew down the front of it. Okay, now it's time for the elastic bands. I just measured how long I wanted mine. I measured it around my head from one side of the closure to the other side and I marked where I wanted it. And I'm gonna use two pieces. So I'm just gonna cut two pieces off my elastic band. Now I'm just gonna sew them to the inside of my cap. Now I'm sewing right where I made this original stitches where I sewed down the closure. Um, this is just gonna help keep my closure looking flat. Okay, now I'm just kind of showing you the gist of it, how it's supposed to look once it's all sewn down. So it's just going to get sewn down to either side of the closure. And I have one in the front and one in the back. And this helps me really flatten out my closure and keep my wig on secure. Okay, now it's time to actually sew the hair onto the wig cap. Because I have so many bundles, four bundles, I need to make sure I double my weft so I can make them all fit on the cap. Okay, as you can see, I've sewn on my first bundle. Uh, don't judge me. I actually use a broom to keep my foam head secure while I sew on. So as you can see, yeah, I've sewn on the first bundle and I don't cut, cut my weft. As you can see, I use the fold over method. When I get to the end, I just fold over and start again. So yeah, one bundle down and three more to go. Ya está cheio, ya está cheio. Lajo, 
Now that I'm done sewing my whole wig, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the cap that's right underneath the closure, just the part that's underneath the closure. So that's it you guys, I hope you guys got the gist of it, this is my first time ever making this type of video, actually making a wig on camera and I had so much difficulty because making a wig and putting the camera, it's just so much, it usually takes me about 2-3 to three hours to make a wig and this time it took me so much longer because of the filming process and everything. I know I didn't film, I didn't have a lot of footage, it's just some of the footage was too dark and I wasn't in my usual filming place, yeah I don't want to bore you guys with all that detail but as time goes on, if you guys would like me to do more of these videos, I would try to make them a little bit better but I hope you guys enjoyed this one and kind of got the gist of it all. If you have any questions, you're always welcome to ask me down below if I didn't include anything that you really wanted to know um, I would be happy to tell you um, in the comments so definitely leave me a comment tell me what you think and um, yeah thank you so much again for watching and I will see you guys in my next one bye